Good morning. It is Thursday and it's technically my day off. So I thought that today I would actually have a day off. So I'm still in my pyjamas, albeit I've got a big jumper on, but tartan PJs. Um, as you can see, the Christmas bedding is on the bed. It's all super cosy, brushed cotton, and it was really, really, really hard to get out of this morning, but I've done it. The kids have gone to school and yes, I confess, I did put a pair of jeans on over said PJ bottoms, drive to school, ditch out the little one and come back home. But I was determined that today was going to be a day for me and that's exactly what it's going to be. But as with any self-employed person, you always have to do a little bit of work even on your days off. So I thought that I would take the opportunity to do a little video for you for my YouTube subscribers. Now, I've done lots of likes videos in the past and I thought that's what I'd do again. Um, but this time I'm gonna do it a bit differently. I'm gonna take you around my house and I'm gonna show you the things that I am loving right now. <laughs> and I'm gonna start right here in the bedroom. So this is my dressing table, a little bit messy, I have to admit, but I want to talk you through some of the products that I'm using at the moment that I'm absolutely loving. And also, can we just have a little bit of appreciation for my newly organised makeup drawer? I know it looks naff, but I tell you what, when you put your bases, your eyeshadows, your eye stuff, and your lipstick just in baskets it makes applying your makeup so much easier those little baskets came from Wilkinson's I think I've had them at work for ages and they weren't being used and all of that makeup used to just be thrown in this drawer and I would take forever trying to get ready to go out of an evening um, but now I know exactly where to go for it it's actually made my makeup application so much easier and I have to admit that I'm actually getting a bit better at doing my makeup because I'm probably takes me about 45 minutes if I'm going out out um, and if I know where everything is I can actually concentrate on applying it so much better than kind of rushing around trying to get it all done and onto my face before I leave the house so if you're struggling with your makeup application so at your makeup drawer it makes a wonderful difference so I've probably mentioned before that I suffer with really, really dry skin and I've always struggled finding a moisturiser that works for me. Now, previously I'd been using this. Um, this is an Elemis Maximum Moisture Day Cream. It was just one that my mum bought me as a present. Um, I used it and it was good um, and I like Elemis. So I figured when that ran out, I would go into the shop and actually ask the ladies at the counter, was this the right moisturiser for me? Um, and if it wasn't, could they recommend one? And they recommended this one to me. This is the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream Ultra Rich. It comes in this little tub. Now, this stuff, honestly, I really, really, really balked at the price. When I first was going to buy it, which was when I went to Belgium earlier on this year, um, I was in duty free and that's when it was recommended to me. And it's £80, which is a horrendous amount of money to spend on a beauty product and I didn't actually buy any in fact I bought another one of these um, and I've used all of that up so a couple of days ago I decided to bite the bullet um, my skin was still pretty dry um, and it wasn't perfect so I thought Do you know what I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go and buy that pro collagen stuff and again it absolutely really really hurt I have to admit I did put it on my credit card um, but I've been using it now for three weeks morning and night and my skin has never been so good um, a week in I did get a couple of spots but that's normal when you change your beauty um, regime but now honestly I can stroke my cheeks and it's like a baby's bottom <laughs> absolutely brilliant i love it you hardly need anything just the tiniest little bit just onto your face and onto your neck um, and it's going to last easily till way past christmas so i probably reckon you can probably get three months out of one of these jars i'll keep you posted um but it's a lot of money to spend on your face but if like me you really 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 struggle with dry skin then it's absolutely fantastic i've also really noticed that 
when I put makeup on as well, which I don't do very often, but when I do, I get a really nice coverage with my makeup because my skin's not all dry and flaky, so my foundation doesn't flake off and fall off my face. So I'll link all of those products, um, all of the products that I mentioned down below. So the other thing that I'm absolutely loving, I've had for a while now um, some Chanel Chance. That's always been my perfume of choice. But I didn't realise that Chanel Chance actually comes in various different flavours. Flavours? Yuck. Fragrances, <laughs> different tones. So Chanel Chance is a really kind of what I call an evening scent. So it's very, very strong. But they also do one called Eau Fresh, um, which is a really nice citrusy, fresh, um, more of a daytime fragrance. So when I went to Florida earlier on in October, I treated myself to some of that. But this is what they do in Chanel. And I don't know if you've ever seen this before, but how cute are these little bottles? Let's see them out, Let's see if it'll focus. So these little bottles, when you twist them, up pops the little spray. That was silly. Now my lens is dirty. <laughs> There's me trying to be fancy. There we go. Oh, there we go. Camera smells nice though. But yeah, so it pops up. It's like a little atomizer. But what I love about them, in fact, I think it's in the drawer. Hang on. Here we go. They come in this little box. So the atomizer is in that central section there. But in this box and in this box is another two inserts for the middle. So you've got 150... No... You've got 60 mils of perfume all together. So there's 20 in here when you buy it. And then you've got two more 20 mil refills. There we go. There's your little refill. So there's two of these in the box. One of them's already in the atomizer. But because this is so little, when you're traveling, you can take it with you. It doesn't leak. You can pop it in your handbag. And I just think it is such a good way of buying perfume because as much as one of these bottles is lovely on your dressing table, I hardly ever use this because I forget to put it on. Um, I don't take it with me when I go away because I don't want to smash this bottle or it leak all over my suitcase. Um, so I just think these are absolutely fantastic and they do these in all of their different fragrances. So I don't think if I buy perfume in the future, I'll be buying it in one of these big bottles i'm definitely going to be going for the atomizer and it's called the twist and spray eau de toilette purse purse blah, 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 purse spray so i love that i think it's absolutely fantastic the last thing i want to show you in my bedroom is this little pot now this is fantastic as you can see i've got my makeup brushes in here these are the brushes i use for my everyday um makeup application i've got quite a few other pots but this is kind of my go to but when I want to travel I take this pot I open up my drawer here and find the lid now I don't know if I can do this one handed hang on I might have to put you down here you go so here's my pot if I squeeze my brushes together pop the lid on over the top of my brushes then it's got a little popper here whoop Pop. and then there's one on the other side and there you have it a little travel container for all my brushes but it means that when I get to my holiday destination this comes out of the suitcase it gets unpopped the lid comes down but what you can also then do if you want to is divide your brushes so on your hotel desk or dressing table you've got all your brushes in a pot ready for you to use before you then pop it back up again before you then pop it up and pack it back in your suitcase 
how good is that? So these are £3.50 and they are available from our good friends at Primark. Um, I treated myself to this one, why wait for Christmas? It's been really, really useful. It's rose gold, obviously I love rose gold. They also come in lovely glittery um, ones as well, silver and gold glitter, um, which I absolutely love. So that's the bedroom. Let's take a trip to the bathroom where I've got one thing to show you. So here we are in the bathroom. Now I don't have that many products in my bathroom. Um, mainly uh, my everyday Christmas present to myself. Uh, well, my husband normally buys me this, some L'Occitane um, for being a bits and pieces that I love. My good friend um, works for Tropic, so I've got lots of their bits and pieces. I've got other friends who work for doTERRA, so I've got bits of them. But this is what I want to show you today. It is grapefruit and rosemary bath salts, and they're from Oliver Banas. Oh, sunshine. <laughs> so I don't know if you've ever been into an Oliver Banas before. I hadn't, but on the way home from the Nottingham Yarn Expo, um, we had about 15, 20 minutes to spare at Liverpool Street Station, and there is an Oliver Banas there. Now, it's a really interesting shop you can probably buy anything you want in there. They sell clothes, they sell jewellery, they do bath products, they have homewares, they do cards. It's a bit like, I suppose, like anthropology, where they sell a little bit of everything. Um, but if you needed to buy a gift for a girlfriend, you could go there and I could guarantee you, you could find something perfect for them. Now, the reason that I bought this, and I don't normally treat myself to things like this, is I was just, fiddling around basically wandering killing time and I had a sniff now if there was smell -a vision on this camera it would be amazing as soon as I sniff I smell spas I smell a spa day it's gorgeous it's not even really that grapefruity and I love grapefruit I wouldn't say it screams grapefruit and rosemary but it just screams spas I have to keep smelling it it's absolutely delicious and the crystals inside see if you can get this to show they're really big and you can see there's petals like rose petals in there as well but they're really big so you only need about half a dozen in your bath which is a good job because again splurge I picked this up off the shelf and I don't normally do this but I smelt it and was like I have to have that and I didn't check the price <laughs> I went to the till and the lady was like, that'll be 18 pounds, please. And I was like, oh my God. But I'd already committed, you know, I'd put it on the counter, I'd committed. Who doesn't look at the price on things? <laughs> so I paid for it um, and walked away. So I put like four or five bath crystals in my bath and determined to make this last. It is a glass jar and it is absolutely gorgeous. And honestly, the smell is worth every single penny. Um, it completely fills this bathroom with the smell of spa day. And you know, that is totally worth it when you want to unwind after a hard day at work. So Oliver Banas, grapefruit and rosemary, and they do a whole range of products in this smell. It's really, really nice. I'm hoping they do a candle because if they do, there's one on my Santa wish list. So that's the bathroom over and done with. We're gonna go downstairs now and we're gonna go into the kitchen. Hold on tight. So the kitchen is where you will find my laundry. <laughs> and I'm actually gonna show you something off my laundry rack. Now, please, please, please do not think that I'm a bit weird because I'm gonna show you some underwear, <laughs> but it's some underwear that has literally changed my life. Now, I need to put you down. Where can I put you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> No tripod today. Oh, I know. I'm gonna put you on top of a jar. Ta-da! Fantastic. So I'm gonna show you this. Now, this looks a bit kinky. It's not, I promise. I've got it around the right way. Yes. Here we go. Now, this looks like 
a bra it's not this is marks and spencer's body shapewear and basically what happens is these straps go here i'm going to come up so you can see these two little triangles sit here either side of your boobs and this bit along the front here sits underneath your bra so what it basically means is it hoiks everything squished from your bum right up to under your boobs squashes it all completely flat then it gets hold of your lady parts and it pushes them together and it pushes them up and it puts them where they're supposed to be without having big horrible thick straps you've literally got this little thin strap and the thin strap if you imagine your bra strap is here the thin strap sits just to the left of it so it doesn't show when you're wearing a wide strapped dress so i'm going to stand up because it's a little bit uncomfortable like this now the reason that i bought it is because at the moment i'm kind of almost there with my figure but there's still a few little wobbly bits that I'm not amazingly happy about that I want to just squish and, and shape a little bit better. It's that time of year when you're all putting on your Christmas party frocks and I want to feel good about myself. So I tried on a very similar something. I think it was, it might have been Gossard or Berg Text, some one of the main brands anyway in Debenhams. Tried it on and it worked really, really well, but it was £45. Now, I'm only going to wear this maybe once in a blue moon when I'm out going out for like a posh night out and I wasn't going to spend £45 on something that I didn't really feel particularly comfortable in um, and didn't really do a lot for me. So I thought, you know what, let's go to Marks and Spencers. And sure enough, Marks and Spencers, that one is £26, which is a much better price. And actually, I'm not going to try it on and show you because that's just pervy, but... If I do wear it, and I wear it with a really nice lace-up, kind of lacy balconet bra, it actually looks quite sexy. It's a little bit kind of burlesque style, you know, where everything's covered, but yet you're still quite curvy and sexy, and I quite like it. That, and it's um, anti-static as well, so if I wear it under one of the dresses that I made, um, especially my red dress, if you've seen my little red dress video, I'll link it up here. All of the comments on that were people saying, Claire, stop pulling your dress down, you need a slip underneath it. Well, I did wear this underneath it and it worked perfectly. So it's anti-static, so it kept the dress down. So Marks and Sparks shapewear. I will, again, I will link it down below for you so that you can go and find your own. Now there's one last thing that I want to show you in the kitchen and that is what I'm currently drinking. Now I'm not a big tea fan, um, I just like a, a normal Yorkshire gold I have to admit but at the moment I am really enjoying this Christmas tea and it's made by Wittards and it's a flavoured black leaf tea with aromatic spiced blend with vanilla, cloves and citrus and again you really do need some smell-o-vision with this. It is absolutely lovely if you can look inside there's not very much left of this actually you can see it's got all the little orange pieces and all the spices and the bits of cloves all actually in the tea which is really lovely and there's not very much left of this because I've been drinking it like an absolute loop. But I use my little four life teapot. Um, it's just for me. So it has a little, oh no it doesn't. Where is it? Hang on. That was embarrassing. It has a little net thing inside it um, which you put your tea leaves in. Can't do this one handed. Do -do -do. There. So it has a little net inside that you put your tea leaves in um, and that brews a really nice little pot and I just top that up with hot water so I get two, two and a half cups out of that. Um, you'll probably see them in cafes and things like that. They quite often get served on those lovely wood boards. Um, again, it's by For Life. That's all one word, F-O-R-L-I-F-E. Um, I love that. Christmas tea for one. Now... I have two more things to show you, one of which we're going to put on so that we can go outside and see the final one. Now, I am cold. I'm always cold. I don't find it easy to keep warm. And this year I decided with school runs and rain and everything else that it was time for me to invest in a nice, warm, proper mum coat. <laughs> 
So I looked everywhere for my coat, but I'm gonna pop this on and then I can show you. Okay, here it is, the mum coat. So you can see it comes down, feel my bum has got a dipped hem, which is really handy if you wanna sit on a park bench or something and not get a frozen bottom. You can hear how crunkly it is. It's like having a big eider down on me. Um, so it is really, really waterproof. I have got caught in an absolutely torrential downpour and I stayed really dry, which is awesome. It's got lovely big pockets, which are good. I can fit my camera in there. I can fit my phone in there and gloves and they pop up. And then you've got your double poppered waterproof bit here on the front and a big Eskimo hood which I have to admit I can't see anything when I'm walking along but when it's done up around the neck you can see it's lovely and warm and there's room in there for a scarf or my knitwear if I don't want to do it right up to my chin so I love this coat there's lots of them on the market the ones I tried on originally were in River Island and they were £110 um, and it was an awful lot of money and I didn't think it was particularly waterproof so I walked away from that one and I'm really glad I did because this one is from our friends Georges Asda um, and it was £32, £32 I think um, in Asda's for a waterproof long really warm coat you can see it's look it's fur lined it's got teddy bear inside so it's super cozy it's super snug keeps all the wind keeps all the rain off me and i absolutely love it and i spent absolutely tiny amount of money compared to what i could have spent on a really really fancy coat from river island or somewhere similar so while i've got this on i'm going to take you outside and i'm going to show you the last thing that i am loving right now We might not go right outside, or we might do. Here we go. This is what I am loving right now. My gorgeous, gorgeous Christmas wreath. So I'm really, really fortunate in that I have a lovely friend, Julie, who's also a florist, and she comes to my studio every year and runs classes to make these gorgeous Christmas wreaths. We've had four classes so far this year, and we've also got a class on the 22nd of December where you can come along and make um, a mantelpiece or a table centre, like a long strip that you can put on your mantelpiece or on your table centre at Christmas. So she's absolutely fantastic. Now, I have to admit, I haven't taken the class personally every time she teaches it she has to make a sample so I bagsied that one after our last class but I'm sure you will agree it's absolutely gorgeous and it's really nice to have a fresh wreath on the door at Christmas so I hope you've enjoyed my likes video. It's a little bit different, I know. Um, a little mixture there for you. No crafty stuff as such, but hey, I have a normal life as well as a crafty life. So if you do like this channel, please do give this video a big thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. The button's down there or up here or somewhere. And if you want to be notified when I put new videos up, make sure you click the little bell icon. I'm really, really, really thankful that you guys enjoy my channel. I've got lots of exciting stuff coming for you. Sewing and knitting and crochet and also just some general lifestyle stuff coming up in the next few weeks. So I'm going to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Hopefully there'll be a video up before Christmas. Christmas itself but if not just in case have a lovely lovely time thanks for watching bye